happy Monday. Oh, welcome to the reading vlog. I just wanted to give a quick reading update before I get ready and head to the office. I finally started Fourth Wing last night. Now, I've only had the book for a few days, but I was reading other books and stuff, so I'm finally ready to get into it. I read about four chapters, I believe, last night, so I'm now in chapter five, which is about like 50 or so pages in. I am loving this book. I had to put it down because I was reading at night to kind of wind myself down, but this book was getting kind of intense and just like, it was elevating my heart rate, so I went ahead and put it down, but I am so excited to pick this book back up today. I've heard a lot of people describe this book as Divergent meets How to Train Your Dragon. That's very true. Like, that's the vibe I get. You're following Violet, which in this kind of army type setting, world setting, her mom is like the general, I believe. And her mom is a writer, and that's what like she went to school for. Violet's older sister is a writer. I think that's what her brother did as well. And then her dad was a scribe, and Violet trained her whole life to be a scribe. And then her mom was like, no, you're gonna be a writer. So for the previous year, she's now switched all that training and prep that she did to be a scribe to now kind of prep to be going to the writer program. It's scary and enemies are already being made. Boys are so dumb. And I'm like literally reading these things like Jack, Jack in the first bit. I'm just like, for what? Like what? Why? You know what I mean? Loving Violet being an underdog. Like she is supposed to be just this very small, fragile person, but she is so smart that I feel like that's gonna carry her a long way. And just in the first few chapters, I'm loving Violet. I'm loving her sister. I'm loving Dane. That's where I'm at so far. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for work and I will see you later when I have an update. Guys, oh my God reading update so as you guys saw when i got home from work earlier this afternoon i went to the pool and read some more and then i came home i had a call with my brother and then i like took like a body shower because like gross i read about 200 pages at the pool which i think is chapter 17 yeah i'm on chapter 17 okay we're just going off of character personalities right now so we have our main character violet i've already talked about her you know in the plot of this book and then we have dane and dane is her violet's like childhood best friend like they did it all together but he's a year older than her so he's already gone through the first year of writer school training and so when she gets there one it's a shock to him but two like protective overdrive kicks in and so like he is that caring and like protective childhood best friends obviously there's some feelings there definitely shown on her side day one <laughs> then you have Zayden and he is supposed to be like this very evil guy right like I don't know if he's I think he's a couple years older than her not exactly sure there's this feud situation going on and I don't have the cover of this to know what is said on the back so I don't really want to talk too much about it but the whole thing is like if you know you know and Zayden and Dane are giving major major Tamlin and Resand energy there I said it like just the like personality and like characters actions where like Dane is this very you know like childhood best friend but like caring and protective of Violet and then Zayden, I mean, borderline enemy. To be honest, like, I mean, he's supposed to be like her enemy. You're worried he's just gonna kill her. He's just giving Ray Sand energy. And so my like lovey dovey romantic side is all like Team Dane. But my toxic side that like loves to go for the toxic ones, I'm a Zayden fan. Yeah. So welcome to my therapy session. <laughs> I am loving loving this book so like i said i'm on page 200 and i feel like the entire time at the pool i was just sitting there like yeah i am very much looking forward to reading more of this like right now um i should probably eat something i just realized but also it's only 6 47 okay so 6 45 and what do i what do i have to i have time i should probably eat something. i don't know i just really want to read this book so I'm gonna figure out that that's a personal problem and I'll see you when I have another reading update. 
Okay, hi, happy Tuesday. So it's like 11.30 or so right now, and this morning I did some work things, and then I was able to read more Fourth Wing. I'm now on page like 389. Yes, so I'm on chapter 31, meaning I just finished chapter 30. If you know, you know. Oh my god, this book is everything. And I think because there are so many different like TV shows and movies out there with different concepts of this book, like having things out there like Percy Jackson, Divergent, How to Train a Dragon, and just like shows and movies like that, I think just make seeing this world in my head so much easier. I can just visualize so much of this book. I'm just playing it out like a movie in my head and I am loving every moment of it. I still have about 20% maybe left and wow it's living up to the hype. Like so many people talk about this book and love it and that can make it a very scary book to dive into but I've just loved every moment of this book so far and I'm definitely going to be finishing this up today. That said I really want to go see the Barbie movie and I love going to see a movie like during the day, during the week, if I have the time. So that's what we're gonna do. If you, I think AMC Theaters has something as well, but the Regal Cinema Universe is what has been around me. So I have like the unlimited pass where I can see like any movie, anytime, however many times I want. And I love that. It's worth the price for me. So um, that's what I'm gonna go do. Well, you and I, that's what we're gonna go do right now. Absolutely not. How? Okay. Okay. This lighting is not gonna work for me. Okay, this is much better. I came on to talk about the book, but then I realized we haven't talked since I left for Barbie. I went and I watched Barbie and I loved it. I had no idea kind of what this movie was gonna be like, like what the tone of it was gonna be. And I knew that a lot of people were definitely like hyping this up. Also just women out there like this movie is so much more and I was very glad that I went. I think just being a woman in this world it was so good to watch and it made me laugh a lot. Just like the stuff that they talked about I was like mm. no that's so true. If you have any inkling to watch it please do especially if you're a woman I think like you would just understand a lot of the topics that are brought up and then if you're a man out there I think it's also very important for you to watch. I was very glad to see both men and women in that theater today. Uh, it was so good and it's just one of those movies that I feel like you could probably watch again and love it equally as much just with how they did it. It, it was unexpected. Like I just, I didn't know what it was going to be and I really loved it. After Barbie, I went to Target and I grabbed a couple things and then I came home and I went to the pool for a little bit, laid out, came home, showered, washed my hair, it's air drying. We'll see what mess comes of this. And then what I turned on the camera to talk about, I finished Fourth Wing. Oh my god, this book. So like I said, I had about 20-25% left. And in that 20-25%, this book did not change any expectations that I had for it. It ended even more even more than I thought it would. So this is just absolutely nuts. I mean, I'm giving it five stars. This book was so, so good. This book had me feeling so many feelings so many times. I was sad, happy, scared, worried, giddy. I just feel like I had so much to offer. I found myself caring for so many characters. This book is only 500 pages and I say that more to reflect the amount of care I had for so many people involved in this story and I think it's very hard to develop those emotional connections to so many characters in only 500 pages of the first book. So this author Rebecca Yaros, holy smokes I don't usually pre-order books but I have got to pre-order the second book like I wow if you have any hesitations about reading this book don't don't have hesitations. 
this book was absolutely everything and I just I loved how the story developed and I loved how different characters developed and how you got to learn more about them please read this book please read this book so that we can talk about it and if you're watching this video and you have read this book please message me like on Instagram or something like please message me I need to talk to people about this book okay that's what I have to say right now I don't even know what book I'm gonna dive into next because my brain just like can't <laughs> my brain just can't right now okay it's Wednesday now and I've been working from home this morning but I did have time to start the next book which is Golden Sun it's the second book in the Red Rising trilogy I believe the series overall has six books like in that universe but they're broken up into these two trilogies nonetheless i don't really know the plot so far of this book i'm only about 50 pages in and i wouldn't be able to really talk about too much probably without spoiling the first book in general this trilogy is following darrow and he is a red and in this world in this you know universe the different people are broken up into like colors and him being a red doesn't make him the lowest, but he's definitely low on the totem pole, and the highest are golds. And so Darrow's whole life, him and his family were mining deep below the surface of Mars. And he was told that, you know, they're working so hard to do this so that the people of Earth can, you know, migrate and expand. But he, like, soon found out that, like, his society, essentially, that he's following is built on lies. And they've just been lying to him. And so he is trying to fight for his people and the only way to do that is a revolution. So he joins that cause and he becomes a gold and is now wanting to infiltrate that realm and live in that high society realm of golds to take it down from within. Like that's the general premise of that trilogy, this trilogy. Book one is essentially Hunger Games in the solar system like you've probably heard people describe it that way and that's exactly what it is it is ruthless it is scary it is it is definitely like it's it, yeah yeah that book was something i read it in a video i just can't remember what video maybe the 48 hour vlog i think um so you can watch that if you want but i definitely love that book i i gave it four and a half stars i think and now i'm starting this book i'm i'm very excited to get into this so 50 pages in. I mean, I've enjoyed it so far. It's just the story continuing. Things are already happening in here that's like, ah, that's not going to be good. That's my reading update. I'm probably going to be hanging around the house today, very much relaxing, and I'll update you if I have something to update you with. Okay, it's two o'clock. I want to go get Starbucks. I just want to like get out of the house, walk around, be outside a little bit. I felt just so bleh all day that sitting in bed probably doesn't help. In the long run so i think just getting outside getting fresh air and walking around will be good for me starbucks is having for the next like two weeks i think they're having this deal you get 50 percent off cold drinks after noon that's gonna be hard for me because i always like morning matcha but midday matcha works for me so let's go ahead and get one Okay, I'm back home now. I literally had to cool down for like five to ten minutes. Like the clothes I was wearing, like I changed it to a t-shirt. I had shorts on and I was sweating by the time I got back. But here we are. I poured my drink into one of my reusable cups. It's been a minute actually, I feel like since I got some matcha. But I'm now back in my sweatshirt and I'm just hanging out in bed. I'm working more and I'm now on chapter 13 about page 120 I believe in the book and I mean it's getting it's getting good like the plot of this book is now obviously much further along and I'm now seeing the direction it's taking so it it's just such a different book for me but it's so intriguing 
and it's entertaining and if like i feel like you just have to enjoy sci-fi type things to enjoy this book i could see how many people wouldn't like red rising that book or like the trilogy if they don't really like sci-fi books if you really are just the fantasy book girly or fantasy romance book girly i can see how this type of book wouldn't be for you i personally love the like change in book genre that i'm reading and I love science fiction movies, so I'm definitely enjoying this and I'm I'm glad that I've branched out into it and I feel like it'll get me to read more books that are out of my comfort zone and something I wouldn't expect me to love as much. So that's my reading update for now. Um, I'm not trying to rush through that book. It's three o'clock on a Wednesday. Like I'm still doing some work and I have so many YouTube videos that I'm behind on that I really want to watch. So I've just been like reading some, watching a video or two, doing some work, reading a little more. That is my update for now. Okay, I'm in the same spot, but I've been having so much fun the last few hours. I have just been like letting all these different ideas and creativity things in my brain get out. I was watching a few reading vlogs recently that were set in fall and I was just like oh my god I cannot wait like I can't wait and if you think about it that's actually kind of quick like we're at the end of July right now so I mean September to me is when like fall happens I'm in California so fall doesn't really exist here until like November maybe and then our winter is fall I mean I won't get the very traditional fall but I feel like if I just decorate my home to be fall like It'll be so great especially because i won't be here for like nearly all of december i don't want to be decorating for christmas in my home this year there's no point so i want to really take advantage of september october and november and really just like decorate for fall and i then planning things and so this page is like everything fall and like youtube like video ideas i have activities and stuff that I want to do, books that I want to read, things like that. And I've just been having so much fun. Just I'm feeling very full thinking about it all. So I just want to give you that update because I'm having so much fun. Okay, I can't even say that I've moved. That's the thing. But you'll already see the video by the time this one's out. Um, but in a couple days, so today's Wednesday, on Friday, my ultimate book video goes out and i usually post on like my bookstagram account as well that's like oh hey you know new video with a link and that thing yeah but i want to post like a legitimate post not just like on my story and i have a couple pictures from when we went book shopping so i want to post those but then i took one of those photos and i decided i want to like doodle and kind of make what would be sort of like a thumbnail for it i need to show you this because it'll already be up and posted anyways so look how cute it is so this is like reading journal and book haul and shopping. I just think this is the cutest thing. Like that's the original photo. And then this are my doodles. It's just been fun being creative today. I've missed doing things like this, so I'm just happy to be doing it. And that took a little bit. I made one a couple days ago thinking I was going to post the ultimate book video today. And I didn't really love how my doodle picture turned out. So I was like, wait, if I'm going to post Friday instead, I have time to redo that. And so that's what I did. Okay, that's my update. I just wanted to share because I'm just having fun. No book update or no reading update, but... Happy Thursday. I just got ready for the day. I'm actually going to head into my office for a couple hours and then I may go to Starbucks later. I'm not sure. I just think I do better when I don't have to work in one space the entire day. Yeah. And luckily my job is very flexible with that. So I'm going to head into my office. We'll see what I do. I think yesterday I really needed to give fourth wing the time it deserved because i was so i'm obsessed with it and i think i didn't give it enough time before i jumped into the second red rising book so as much as i was liking it and enjoying it yesterday i wasn't as motivated to keep reading it because i was like like it was like this instant comparison to the feelings i had while reading fourth wing so i am glad that i just kind of took a break for the rest of that afternoon and evening and like did some creative crafty things and watched youtube videos that i was missing and i just i like that i think that really helped me so today i am very excited to just get back into that book and get back into reading so i'm gonna go do some work 
do some reading. Let's go. It's like four or five o'clock. I got back from work and I read up to the 50% mark in Golden Sun. So at this point, I feel like it's gonna be like a four star read. I think I give the first book four and a half. And I think when I have the comparison so fresh in my mind of the reading experience from Fourth Wing, sorry to bring it up again, um, I just, I cared for all those characters so much beyond just the overall plot of the book. So I am very much aware of those feelings to the point that like I can see that I'm not as invested in all the characters involved in this storyline so far. And I'm mainly just really enjoying the overall plot of the book and caring to see how the plot develops and not necessarily what's gonna happen with all the characters, if that makes sense. I'm still excited to see where it goes with 50% of this left. I don't think I plan to finish this today. I feel like I'll read a good amount today and then finish it up tomorrow, but I just, I don't wanna force myself to read a lot. And I'm definitely a little tired right now, so I don't wanna read just to finish it. I wanna read to enjoy it. And I have to like remind myself that sometimes because I'm like, oh, I really want to finish this. You can finish it at your own pace. You're good. Take your time. <laughs> okay, that's my update. And I will talk to you when I have something else to say. Okay, I am dying because these are so good. I got the one pan pork fajita lettuce wraps from HelloFresh this week. And I just made them. They're so, so good. Oh my god. I took my first bite and I was like, no, this is worth updating on. Like, I get HelloFresh like every week, but I haven't had this recipe yet. Dang. I just really wanted to share that with you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat this now, but I had to share. It's Friday and I wanted to give a quick update to Golden Sun. So it's like one o'clock now and I worked at Starbucks this morning just to kind of, you know, different scene. And I have about 30% of the book left, I think. My investment in the book hasn't changed beyond, you know, like I talked about, I really care about how this plot develops, but I'm not necessarily like caring deeply for the characters. Like that hasn't changed. I'm still very interested in seeing how this wraps up for the second book. There's one book left in this trilogy. And uh, the first book is described as Hunger Games in space, like in the solar system. This second book, if you've read this, please tell me if this makes sense. It's giving like Lord of the Flies meets Star Trek. <laughs> like, does that make sense to anyone? It's like utter chaos, but like, yeah. I don't wanna talk too much about it, obviously being a second book. You know the overall, plot of this trilogy. I've explained that. So in the second book you're definitely seeing more of Daro's development. He finds himself like remembering who he is in different times but then finding that balance of rem remembering who he is but also the sacrifices he has to make to get to that end goal. And so you see him battling those feelings of whether or not it's love or friendship or just you know caring for someone's safety and well-being while also having that like but you're a gold and also I'm gonna end up betraying you because I want to take down your society. You know what I mean? It's good. I, I like it. And that is just my little mini reading update. I feel like the next update I will have for you will be when I finish this book today. But yeah, this book is something. Okay, before I really gather my thoughts, I found a quote that completely I feel like encompasses book two all but like the last five to ten percent of the last five percent of this book listen that last chapter was a whirlwind but this whole book is told from Darrow's POV by the way I don't know if I said that like he's the main character but it is told from like first person Darrow he says I'd give my life to bring them back I say knowing it is a lie much as I love these golds, I have greater responsibilities. Until this is over, it's not my life to give. Now this book ending. Oh. Oh my god. That ending was nothing like I expected. 
I mean, I, I wasn't exactly sure what I expected, but it definitely wasn't that. And I can say that by the end of this book, I definitely found myself caring for more characters. This is not a book where like everyone gets a happy ending, everyone lives, everyone's just living their best life in the end. Like that's just not how this series is. Like book one, there's death. Here there's death. And I hurt. But also, I need to read the third book. I'm gonna have to sit on this to figure out the rating. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go decompress and we'll gather later. Okay, hey, it's Saturday, as you know, and I just wanna hop on and give a quick update. So last night, I stayed up way too late. I don't know what it was, but I did. I slept in this morning and very much had a chill morning. And then I got ready. I filmed half of a video that will be going out in a couple weeks. And then I took a shower, took off all my makeup, all those things. It felt so good. And also today, I started Once Upon a Broken Heart. If you don't know what this book is about, it's following Evangeline Fox, who strikes up a deal with the Prince of Hearts because Evangeline's love of her life is getting married to someone else. And so she strikes up this deal with the Prince of Hearts to stop the wedding from ever happening. And then in return, she has to kiss three people of his choice whenever he wants. That's just strange to me, Evangeline. Why did you agree to that? That's just weird. You know, like, it just sounds like an odd kink. Whatever, to each their own. But it is interesting to see the growth so far in Evangeline because at the beginning of this book, you're just introduced to this broken-hearted girl, juvenile girl that's just, like, so love-obsessed with, like, oh my god, if the love of her life gets married to someone else, like, her life is just over. And you're like, queen. So already 55% of the way through, you just see a lot of growth in her. And I definitely enjoyed that part. So many people love this. Is it going to be a trilogy or is it just considered a series? Like there's two books out now, I believe, and then one is coming out in a couple months. So I don't know. But I know so many people love this book and The Ballad of Never After. So I'm curious to see how the last 45% or so of the book goes because I'm enjoying it right now, but I'm not totally obsessed. We'll see. But the next update you'll get from me is probably just me finishing the book because I really just want to now go sit and finish it. Okay. You know, my camera was still set up in here, but I finished the book out in my living room. So, Once Upon a Broken Heart. I gave it four stars. That's what I'm giving it. I I really like this book. And I think by the end of it, I was definitely feeling a lot more invested in what happens. So I definitely want to read the second book. Absolutely. What I'm not sure of is if I want to start Princess of Souls or City of Bones. For all my Cassandra Clare girlies out there, I feel like your answer would be like, City of Bones, obviously, but I don't know. I am definitely influenced by Rachel Catherine. I got the City of Bones and I definitely want to read it. We'll see. That's a me problem. I'm going to eat some food, decompress, and I'll check in with you when I have an update. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I am feeling Sunday lazy vibes, but I can't because I need to film my July reading wrap up slash August TBR video. I was gonna film it tomorrow, but I don't plan on finishing any books today. So I really just wanna film it today and kind of edit it probably. Yesterday, I didn't start any new books. I actually just edited a lot of other things. So I have a lot of videos and stuff like halfway done. And so I wanted to go ahead and edit what I already had to get kind of ahead with it. And then I finished editing this video up until today. So I feel good about that. I don't know what time it is now. I think it's like eight or nine and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. I gotta go get Starbucks of course. I can't do a reading wrap up without it. And uh, I'll update you when I have something relevant to say. Okay I just got back from getting a drink. Yum 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 yum. Guys matcha is so superior. I'm gonna film my July reading wrap up. So I just want to give you an update. I got ready. Yay. I got my drink. I'm very happy about it. I'm gonna go film now. I'll catch you when I'm done.
Wait, all my stuff's in my room now. But I just finished making like the YouTube video of my July reading wrap up and then a like Instagram reel, just kind of like a quick, you know, book rating reel. And then I took out my library books back out here so I can take them back probably tomorrow because I have already two holds that I need to pick up. So put my library books there and now I'm going to actually play games with my uncle and if you've like followed me for a while you would know like I feel like I used to do this often like we'll just FaceTime each other and we'll play like different dice games like Yahtzee, Quix, and Farkle. They're very fun games. So if like you guys don't know what they are you should look it up and play with your friends. But that's my update and I will check in with you guys whenever I'm done and decompressing probably. Okay yeah I am definitely tired. I want to take off my makeup and throw on a hoodie. So bad. So bad. But it was just so good. You know, FaceTime, chat, and I FaceTime my mom afterwards. And then, now it's like 3.30 or so. I need to relax. But, I actually really need to start uploading film. So, I'm going to change and everything. But then I'm going to start uploading the footage of my wrap up and start going through that. So many clips. So many times that I have to start over. <laughs> it was so bad. I just like, I'll start to say things and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Okay, let's start this review of the book over again. And yeah, I'm gonna go. And I'll update you later on today. But it's just been such a nice, wholesome Sunday. I'm just feeling so rejuvenated to talk to people. I feel like for a while there, I was just like mentally did not have the energy to do things I didn't absolutely have to. So I'm just glad to actually talk with people and family. <laughs> So I'll check in with you later. Okay, hi, it's now 6.30. I did eat a either very late lunch or very early dinner a couple hours ago because I really hadn't eaten a proper meal for the day. Um, so I did have one of my HelloFresh meals. It was so good. And now I've just been going through all the footage I took throughout today for the different videos for like the YouTube like July wrap up along with the Instagram reel for it. And I've just been going through those and only uploading and importing the things that actually matter. <laughs> so it's been fun. I've actually enjoyed I have I just found myself in this last week really enjoying all the creativity I was doing and all the videos I was making and content I was producing. It's just been so fun. And I just feel on top of it. And so I'm taking advantage of that and I'm just continuing to roll. So I did want to go ahead and end the video here. I won't be doing any more reading and I'm just going to be sitting here editing for the rest of the night. So thank you so much for joining my first weekly reading vlog and I'll see you in the next one.